Yesterday marked 14 years to when terrorists hijacked four passenger planes and smashed two into New York's World Trade Center. Everyone remembers where they were that day, but one Valley woman was actually in one of the towers just minutes before it was struck. Action Force Nestor Mato brings us her story. The nation will never forget September 11th, 2001, and neither will Marsha Bronson, the Valley woman, was inside the World Trade Center that fateful Tuesday morning. I was there, right? I was frightened. Texas State Technical College in Harlingen holding a ceremony to commemorate September 11th. Some students too young to even remember it. I'm not too sure I don't remember, but I just remember the news. I really can't remember anything like the event when it happened. But the school's student life secretary will never forget. I could see the smoke billowing out of the building. And below on the ground, I could see sirens. I could see the actually the um, fire trucks, EMTs. Before relocating to the Rio Grande Valley three years ago, Marsha Bronson, a New Jersey native, took the train every day. Her last stop, the World Trade Center. I used to transport from New Jersey into New York, into Manhattan at the time. I had just gotten off the train. I had left the building. Tuesday, September 11, 2001, was not like every other day. Terrorists hijacked four planes, two of them, American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175, striking the North and South Towers. Bronson barely missing the collision, watching it all from a nearby deli. It was partially in disbelief because I just left the building. Bronson says no one could have ever imagined terrorism as a cause until the second tower was hit. I had just missed the first hit by maybe 10 minutes. She says her life, as well as the nation, was forever changed. Now, 14 years later, Bronson says the day is still a difficult one. I'm thankful that God spared my life, um, but I'm also sad for those many people that perished and their families that have to we live this every year. Bronson says September 11th will always be a day of remembrance, but says the wound is still there. And for her students, not born when it happened or too young to remember? I would tell them that 9-11 was uh, a horrible day that changed history due to an act of uh, hatred and violence against this nation, that there were people that were in assistance on that day to save lives or to heal people that were broken behind this act of evil. Bronson says she knows that if she would have ran late that day just a little bit, she could have been in the tower when it was hit. She doesn't call herself lucky, though. She simply believes everything happens for a reason. In the studio, Nestor Mato, Action 4 News.